Welcome to the Elective Rotation Podcast, Critical Care Pharmacy Minute, where I discuss one critical care pharmacy thought in about one minute. I'm Pharmacy Joe of PharmacyJoe.com. In this episode, I'll discuss four pearls for the use of daptomycin in the ICU. Number one, there's no such thing as a stat daptomycin dose. The powder takes a long time to dissolve, at least 15 minutes before it can then be made into an IV mini bag. Number two, daptomycin has no anticoagulant effect, but it may falsely prolong the INR. If this occurs, draw the INR 24 hours after the daptomycin dose to minimize the effect. Number three, the interaction between statins and daptomycin does not appear to be clinically meaningful. As CPK elevations and myopathy that occur when using daptomycin and statins resolves quickly, Think twice about withholding a statin during daptomycin therapy in a critically ill patient, especially if the patient has a compelling need for the statin, such as a recent MI. Instead, just increase your frequency of monitoring the CPK to several times per week. And number four, on-treatment resistance of daptomycin is known to occur. If a patient receiving daptomycin has persistent bacteremia, this may signal the development of on-treatment resistance. For more information on antibiotics and critical care, you can get my visual critical care antibiotic guide by registering for my free download area in the show notes of this episode at pharmacyjoe.com episode 231.